last time we added listeners to our buttons. Now what we need to do is we need to get all of our sprites for our puzzles. So we need to get all of these and put them in our code and assign them in an array so that we can guess which buttons or excuse me, which puzzles we have. For that, we need two variables. The first one is going to be a serialized field or I'm simply going to make it public. So instead of making it serialized, I'm going to say public sprite array and I'm going to name this puzzles. And here we also need a public list, which is going to be a list of sprites. So sprite and I'm going to name this game puzzles, which is equal to new list so new list, let me just find it right here. Now, what we need to do is we need to get all of our puzzles or our buttons, which I said right here, excuse me, our puzzles for our candy, and we need to add them in this puzzles array. Now, there are two ways. What we can do is we can type here that we need 15 because we have 15, and we can drag and drop each of these here. Now, there is a quicker way to do this. And I'm going to show you that way. What we need to do is we need to go here in our awake function. So void awake. And inside of this function, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use our puzzles and that's going to be equal to resources dot load all. And here I'm going to pass our sprite because we are loading sprites and we need to pass a path. So a path is practically a file path. So here we have our sprites and after that we have our candy. So that's our path. So here we can simply say sprites. So sprites and we have our candy. But in order for this to work, we need to create a resources folder. So we need to go back here and create a resources folder. So create a folder, name it resources and add our sprites here. If you if we don't do this, if we have our sprites right here and not in the resources folder, this is not going to work. So again, simply type our puzzles, which is our puzzle sprite array, is equal to resources, load all, and this is going to load all sprites that are at the path sprites candy. So now if I go back and select my game controller, notice here for our puzzles array. If I run the game, we see that we have all 15 of our puzzle candy pieces inside of our puzzle, or excuse me, inside of our array. So this is a much quicker way how to get all of our sprites through our code instead of simply dragging and dropping them here from our, well, Unity editor. Now that we have our puzzles, we need to create our game puzzles. And what I, why I say game puzzles? Well, if we go back here and run the game again, we have 15 of our puzzle pieces, but we have eight buttons. And if we have eight buttons, each two buttons are going to have one image. So that means that we need to have only four of our buttons. Excuse me, we need to have only four of our puzzle pieces. And let me show you what I mean. So if I go back here, what we need to do is here where we are adding listeners or above it, what we need to do is we need to create void and I'm going to name this add game puzzles. Now here inside of this function, what we are going to do, and let me just close this so I mistyped something. Here what we are going to do is I'm going to create an integer which is a looper, which is going to be equal to buttons.count. So not clear, buttons.count like this. And also what we need is an integer, which is going to be an index, which by default is equal to zero. Now here I'm going to say for int i is equal to zero, as long as i is less than looper i plus plus. And looper is going to be equal to how many button elements we have in our list of buttons. So here the first check that we need to perform is if our index is equal to looper divided by two, so not compare, divided by two. If this is true, then our index is going to be equal to zero. And here what we are going to do is we need to see our game puzzles dot add, and we need to use our puzzles, and we need to pass our index. 
So here we are passing the index to get the element that's a that index and we need to say index plus plus. So what this actually means and we are going to do this right below our well get buttons or add listeners it's not important so we can do it right here. What this actually means and on purpose I set our public or set our game puzzles to be public. So if I go back here in my unity editor and notice now for our game puzzles if I run the game we are only going to have eight of our puzzles but here we have 15 and why eight well we have here eight buttons so when we click on one of the buttons we are going to reveal one of our candies right here if we click on the another another button excuse me we are going to reveal another candy and that's why we don't need all of these 15 and if you notice here we have candy 0 and we have candy 0 again we have candy 1 and candy 1 again because each of our two buttons are going to represent one puzzle piece because we need to find two same images in order to win the game and here what I'm doing is I'm getting the buttons that count and the index is zero and I'm looping that many times so how many buttons we have that time that many times I'm looping but if our index is equal to looper divided by two let's say we have 10 buttons and on each incrementation we are going to have zero then one then two if we reach 10 we are going to reset it to be back to zero because we need to add well the same buttons two times and that's why we are doing it like this because I need to add as we saw earlier we have well puzzle button one and puzzle oh, excuse me puzzle one and puzzle one two times puzzle zero puzzle zero two times we need to add the same puzzle piece two times and that's why I'm checking here if the index is equal to looper divided by two then reset the index to zero in order to add those same buttons again in our well here game puzzle list so practically we have our game set up what we also need is we need a couple of variables and here I'm going to create those variables so private bool and this is going to be first so first guess and second guess now this right here means that we are declaring two variables in one line this is equivalent to writing well private bool first guess and private bool second guess but if we have two variables of the same type in our case a boolean we can type it like this right here so here we are going to have a first guess and second guess this is going to control the guesses of our user we are also going to have a private int and this is going to be count guesses and also another private int this is going to be count correct guesses and a private int this is going to be game guesses and we also need a two private strings so private string this is going to be first guess well name and second guess name or we can well type index or excuse me first guess puzzle and second guess puzzle we are going to see for what we are going to use these variables but for now simply type those variables and here I can simply I need also one more variable and this is going to be private int so private int first guess index and also second guess index so just set this up and this is for the next tutorial and we are going to see for what we are going to use each of these well variables and these are for controlling our game so simply type that out so it's first guess second guess count guesses count correct guesses game guesses first guess and second guess index and our strings first guess puzzle and second guess puzzle so if you like what you see comment subscribe and share and i will see you in the next video where we are finally going to begin to program our game logic and pick up or select our puzzles